Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share information with you about radiation. And no, not the radiation from Fukushima. I'm talking about the radiation that you carry with you in your pocket all day, mostly, probably every day. Uh, it's work, you're texting, tweeting, Instagramming. My screen looks really dirty there. It's all my fingerprints. Uh, you carry it with you every day. And that radiation comes from your cell phone. And that radiation, or otherwise known as electromagnetic frequencies, EMFs, or they're, they're basically just kind of different things. There's all sorts of uh, sort of uh, negative energy that impacts your health and well-being that comes from your phone. Today I want to talk about that and how you can reduce radiation, how you can reduce those electromagnetic frequencies uh, in a very simple manner uh, with a new, uh, really, you know, it's simple, but it's kind of a high-tech health product that has just been released. I'm really excited to share it with you. So, uh, first things first, uh, what does radiation do? What does it cause? So radiation is uh, essentially just waves, so uh, radio waves uh, that are emitted from electronic devices. So uh, all electronics emit some sort of radio waves and different electronics emit different amounts. So uh, for example, your tablets, your computer, and your cell phone emit the most radiation or radio waves uh, because they're emitting and connecting to Wi-Fi, or they're connecting to 4G, uh, so they're connecting to cell phone towers, they're connecting to your Wi-Fi, and they're, they're communicating back and forth. Whereas something like, uh, you know, maybe uh, your TV or, uh, you know, a, a light or any other type of electronic that's just not connected to Wi-Fi or just simply that device, it's, a, you know, a switch, a light, a fan, whatever it may be, uh, those, have, those don't have radiation or very, very low radiation or very low electromagnetic frequencies. Whereas your cell phone, your cell phone is probably the highest thing in your home. Cell phones, microwave, uh, tablet, phone, uh, tablet, computers, things like that. So things that connect to, to uh, Wi-Fi as well as 4G. So uh, what happens? What happens? How does radiation affect your health? How does the electromagnetic magnetic frequencies affect your health? So there's been a different science and, and research done on this. And there's been a lot of different findings. And I think there's even more that we could talk about, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But first things first, radiation and electromagnetic frequencies affect the youth, they affect young people uh, at a higher risk or a higher rate of risk for potential harm than adults. So uh, if your kids, if you have kids that are under 20 years old, or you know someone who has kids that are under 20 years old, and their kids are using their cell phone, uh, that's actually pretty dangerous, as crazy as it sounds. Uh, they when under 18, under 18, 20 years old, uh, the human brain hasn't yet developed, so the bones and the skull and, and the head is not as firm as, as it is when you're an adult, as when it's fully developed. And one study found that kids under 18 years old were five times more likely to develop brain cancer if they use a cell phone. And that's really important for people that have kids or know people that have kids. Um, I can say that, uh, you know, I, I know someone, I, um, my, my ex actually, her son, he's, he's four years old, he plays games on the phone all the time. And uh, it's one of those things where I'm like, ah, oh, you know, it was one of those things when I, I want to be like, hey, you know, get him away from the phone, like the radiation. Uh, but now there's kind of a solution for that, which is pretty cool, or at least to help and, and uh, reduce things, uh, you know, drastically. So uh, first things first, like I said, for youth, it's, it's not as beneficial. It's definitely not beneficial. If you're an adult, if you're over 20 years old, which probably you are if you're watching this, uh, it's still harmful to your health and well-being. And how is that so? Well, it's still radiation, it's still electromagnetic frequencies. So uh, if you're holding your phone up to your head like this, uh, that's you're increasing your risk of brain cancer by talking on your phone. The more you talk on your phone, the more you hold your phone up to your head, closer to your head, closer to your brain, the worse it is for your brain because that radiation and electromagnetic frequencies are entering your brain. I mean, those, those waves are just hitting your brain. Uh, with that being said, there's, there's other things as well. So uh, men that use their phone just for an hour a day uh, have a, an increased risk of infertility. Uh, so if you hold your phone kind of by your waist and it's kind of by your, you know, your, your, your man parts, uh, what that's doing is it's emitting radiation and electromagnetic frequencies into your, your, your te testicles and, and it's reducing your risk of, for, uh, your risk, or excuse me, it's increasing your risk of infertility, which is crazy. Uh, so if you ever want to have babies one day, if you haven't had babies yet, uh, your phone could literally be harming or hindering you in doing that. And infertility is skyrocketing right now. It's not just phones that are causing that. There's a lot of other reasons, BPA, uh, chemicals, plastics, petroleum-based things, all sorts of things that are disrupting hormones in the endocrine system. But 
phones can be a culprit from that as well. So we have brain cancer or really any cancer because radiation and electromagnetic frequencies uh, can foster or lead to the growth of any cancer or tumors. So cancer, tumors, infertility, what else? Stress, aches, tension, and pain. So uh, radiation and electromagnetic frequencies uh, are pro-inflammatory. So if you have inflammation in your body and it's not healing and it's not coming down, what that's doing is it's causing tension, stress, pain, anxiety, those types of things. So getting grounded, getting away from the phones, the technology is beneficial, but if you can reduce radiation EMFs around your technology in your home, you can have a, a more neutral free radiation, uh, neutral kind of zone free of radiation or a lot less radiation and electromagnetic frequencies, which is what I'm going to talk about today. So uh, one thing that I've noticed, and just before I get into uh, what I recommend for you, is one thing that I've noticed is that when I talk on the phone uh, for, like if I talk to my parents, my mom or my dad, I'm talking to them for you know 30 minutes, an hour, uh, I'll talk to them and if I'm talking for, it's usually around 40, 50 minutes, I'll get a headache or I'll get tension in my head just by you know talking to them. And I do, I hold my phone out here on speakerphone because I don't want to put the radiation EMFs right next to my head. So even with that, even with the, um, you know, the, the holding my phone on speaker and holding it out here, I'm still feeling the, the tension and, and that kind of thing in my head. I can feel sort of like, not a headache really per se, but more of like just tension and tightness in the, in the center of my head. And I think I'm more sensitive to electromagnetic frequencies and things like that. I'm not sure why. I think other people, some people are, some people aren't. It really just depends. But another thing I've noticed before I got what I'm about to show you, if I'd hold my phone in my hand, my phone would actually get, my, excuse me, my hand would actually get tingly and kind of like the nerves would kind of um, feel a little bit less uh, active, if that makes sense. So my hands would feel tingly and it's sort of like they were like zapped. I know that sounds weird, but the phone I'd hold my hand it would do that. So the, the hand would feel that, my arm would kind of feel that, and more in my hand and wrist area, and then my head would feel that if I talk on the phone for a long period of time. So I personally know that radiation and electromagnetic frequencies play a role and have an effect on the tension, the tightness, the inflammation, and things like that of that nature. So what I'm about to share with you is like just freaking awesome. It is like the best thing since sliced bread, and in fact, it sort of is like sliced bread just for your phone. I'm going to show you right now. As you can see here, this case right here is like the best thing since sliced bread for your phone. What this does, this company is called Safe Sleeve, and what Safe Sleeve Cases has done is has developed a military grade material that is FCC certified, lab tested, FCC is the Federal Communications Commission, that has to do with radio and television and all the communication things. It's FCC certified, lab tested, to reduce radiation by over 90%. Uh, it depends on your phone, or it depends on, uh, you know, if like, for example, if I have it open, there's gonna be more radiation, but if I have it closed, it's gonna be a lot less. But if I have it closed, it's like 99% less radiation or something like that, something crazy. Over 90%, which is just, freaking awesome. So uh, it's really exciting and it's actually the first scientifically backed product to reduce cell phone radiation. And cell phone radiation and electromagnetic frequencies come in different forms. So there's thermal, there's radio waves, there's the EMFs, and there's all these different things that are emitted. So I'm going to share with you the value of this case and how much it can mean to your health and the health of your family and your kids if they use phones too. So like I said, it reduces cell phone radiation by 90% or more. Uh, when it's closed, it's obviously reduced a lot more, but when it's open, it's going to emit some because you know you're opening the the radiation pathway. So uh, what you do, what's cool about this product is that uh, the cases are very comparable. I mean, literally the same price as other cases. So I think I think this case was forty four bucks. Uh, I don't know if it's like I don't know what it's made of the material exactly, but it's it's you know it's sewed well. It's this is magnetic right here, so it stays closed, and in the inside. Uh, you can see you, you put your cards in here and then your cell phone over here and then this also lifts like this so that you can actually make a, a case, a stand out of that. So you can actually set your phone down and actually I'm doing it wrong, it goes like this and you have, whoops, you have a cell phone. So it's actually a stand too. So there, it does three core tasks. The first thing is it reduces radiation EMS by 90 plus percent. 
Uh, it's a storage device because you can put your cards in here. It's an RFID chip blocking case as well. So believe it or not, there are criminals now that uh, if they're within like, I think it's like 20 feet of your, of, your, of your cards, they have RFID technology that can actually read your card. This is crazy. I just learned this today from their website, but I'm not surprised because, you know, uh, identity theft and, and card fraud and things like that are on the rise. But they can actually read your RFID chips from like 20 feet away and then just get the information they need and use your card. So what this does, this is crazy, uh, this case, by closing it like this, you're actually, this is an RFID, RFID blocking material as well. So when you put your cards in here, you're actually reducing your risk of getting, of having identity theft as well. So it's a storage thing, but it also reduce, reduces your risks of identity theft and reduces radiation EMFs, and it's also a stand. And it's also uh, made of materials that are soft and, and sort of cushiony, so it does uh, break the, uh, you know, kind of reduce the risk of your phone falling and breaking and cracking and things like that. So it's protection physically for your phone, it's protection for your identity and card theft, but it's also protection from radiation and electromagnetic frequencies. How cool is that? I'm really excited about this. I think it's one of the best products uh, I've seen uh, as far as health and health technology in a while. Uh, there's a lot of products out there in the market that uh, you put them on your phone, it's like a little circular rubber circle and it's like a chip and it's like 20, 30 bucks and it's like reduces cell phone radiation. I haven't believed one of those since the day they came out. I've had one before on my old phone. It fell off. It was a piece of crap. Uh, I just don't, there's no science backing any of those, that, that I've seen at least. And it's like a piece of rubber. I don't, they, I don't even know what they're claiming. Whereas this, it's, you can feel it. It feels, it feels stronger. It feels better. It's military grade. It's FCC lab tested, certified, so you can actually look that up. And it's fairly cheap. I mean, a lot of people get cases just to protect their phone. This is going to protect your phone, protect radiation, protect EMFs, and protect against identity theft. And it's pretty sleek and sexy, I gotta say. So uh, I highly recommend this phone. Uh, there's, I'll put some links and information below uh, about uh, children and their risk of increasing brain cancer. If you have like teenage daughters or sons that use their phone, uh, one thing that I, I read online, which was really interesting, teenage girls are falling asleep and they put their phone on their pillow like this. And they fall asleep with their phone emitting, you know, connected to Wi-Fi, connected to 4G. They fall asleep like this all night and girls are actually, teenage, this is, I guess this is a teenage girl thing. They're actually getting brain cancer just because they're falling asleep on their phone. Imagine radiation and EMS frying your brain for eight, nine hours a night. So, I mean, I'm sure adults do this too. Sorry, it's raining in the background. That's why you hear the rain. Uh, so, that's definitely a problem. But if you want to reduce, uh, if you do have, if you work around computers, if you work in the corporate world, you know, a desk job, things like that, you're around electromagnetic frequencies and radiation all day, from Wi-Fi, cell phones, 4G, you're in the city. This is just one thing that you can do that when you put this in your pocket, you know that you're not going to be radiating, you know, your, your, your fertility, you're radiating your, your circul you know, you're harming your circulation, your nervous system, all these different things. So uh, it's, I love health investments where you can buy it one time and it lasts forever. Uh, I love healthy foods, superfoods, herbs, all that kind of stuff, but this is a one-time investment that's going to last you for years to come, you know, if you have the same phone at least. And uh, it's totally worth it, and, and I just highly recommend it. So uh, I will put the, the link to this, this product right below this video, along with some articles and more information. Uh, but like I said, this is the best way that I have found to reduce radiation, over 90%. And uh, I, for me personally, I'm so sensitive to radiation EMFs that I would just turn my phone on airplane mode whenever I wasn't using it. And then I would miss calls and, and all this stuff. And it's just a hassle. Like, I'd always just try to airplane mode my life away. And now that I have this, I don't have to do that. It's like the best thing ever. So uh, my mom would always be like, why don't you answer your phone? I'm like, because it's on airplane mode. And now it's not on airplane mode, mom. You can talk to your boy. So, so uh, it's really exciting, really cool. And I'm just in love with it. So like I said, the prices range based on the phone you have, but they have cases for like iPhones, Androids, everything, as far as I know. So. Uh, check out these cases. I highly recommend you get one. The link to buy the cases will be right below this video along with articles and research with more information. Uh, you can see they have a video on their site. They have a diagram of like uh, using a phone for like 10 minutes, an hour, and you know, whatever, and, and how the radiation and EMFs change and heat up your brain. I mean, it's literally heat. It's radiation. So, uh, you know, the, the inflammation, the, the, all these different things, the increased cancer risk and, and tension stress, pain, aches, that could just be from too much electromagnetic frequencies and radiation in your life, and you can 
stop that with your cell phone, at least with one thing in your home, with one simple purchase. So check it out below. I hope you get a lot from it and enjoy the, the product. And uh, yeah, share, please share this video and information with your friends, especially if you have kids. It's really, really important. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for your time. My name is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Please like, favorite, comment, and share this video if you learned something. Subscribe below for future videos and get a safe, safe, safe sleep case right below this video. Uh, even if you just want to learn more about radiation, electromagnetic frequencies, and how cell phones influence and impact your health and well-being, based on the science that has been done so far, the link below, I actually linked to a page on their website that has a video clip that shows a picture and diagram and shows all these different shares all this different information that's really interesting about how cell phones, radiation, EMFs, radio waves, thermal uh, radiation, all these different things affect your health and your body and your well-being. So just check that out alone. It's totally worth it. It's valuable to understand and learn. So that link to Safe Sleep will be really, right below this video and uh, you'll get a lot from it. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a great day. Bye.